Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to talk about single core, dual core and multi core processors. I've got a few mails from a, a couple of users regarding the differences between a dual core processor, multi core processor and the 8 core processor uh, such. Uh, and they were asking is it ideal to go for a quad core or a 8 core processor rather than the single core or a dual core processor. To understand this concept let me explain you uh, what is basically a single core, dual core, multi core or, or whatever quad core, 8 core processor or something like that. Basically let's uh, think a single core processor as one hand. I have one hand that's a single core. Now if uh, my processor was a dual core I'll have two hands. Similarly, if I have a quad core processor, I'll be having four hands and so forth and so forth. Your general conclusion is that now that I have more hands, I'll be able to do much more tasks faster. You are uh, actually right, but no, it's not entirely true. And I'll give you an example for that. Maybe. Let's say this is our task for our processor. Let's say uh, I have one hammer and I have to drive one nail in the wall. Now this task is ideal for just one processor. That's one hand. If let's say all of my four hands go and start hitting that hammer, it's not going to make sense. So basically uh, this task was ideal for just one processor. Now let's say we have this another task. We have to divide these 200 boxes. Now this task can easily be divided among all these four processors and will be way, way faster. What I'm trying to explain is that basically uh, the efficiency of a dual core or a quad core processor differs from task to task. Uh, generally, uh, basically it is ideal to have at least a dual core processor because all the modern OS's like Windows, Linux and even Mac OS can take advantage of dual core and multi core processors. Again, uh, basically uh, for a generic user who doesn't uh, uh, basically deal with very specialized applications or heavy applications like video editing etc, uh, a, a dual core processor is more than enough. Uh, I'll give you an example why dual core is better than a single core processor. Let's say you're working on this Word document and you are having a dual core processor in your system. What will happen? Let's say you're writing this document and in the background, the antivirus scan has to be started. If you're having a dual core processor, what will happen is that one core will be assigned to whatever task you're doing that's writing a Word document and the second uh, core can be used to do the antivirus scan in the background. Thus, it will not hamper your performance. Uh, again, uh, by moving to quad core basically it depends upon the application because not every application can take advantage of uh, all the four cores but it is not bad to have a four core processor because what will happen is like the worst thing that will happen is that your whatever software or whatever which is not optimized for a quad core or whatever uh, only the two cores or one core will be working and the other two cores will be staying idle. So uh, it is not uh, mandatory to just go for a quad core or a higher core processor. So if you are doing a simple task, a dual core or a processor is more than enough. But uh, if you are doing something like uh, heavy applications like photoshopping or video editing or even playing games, uh, then a quad core processor will be helpful. For example, some of the latest games uh, can utilize all the four cores of the processor. Let me give you an example. Let's say uh, we have a quad core processor and we are running this latest game. What can happen is, this is just a hypothetical, uh, one core can be assigned for the artificial intelligence of the game, second core we assign, can be easily assigned for basically physics of the game and the other two cores can run the main game engine. So basically uh, if you are a heavy gamer and you are trying to build a new system, basically you can go for the quad core system. Again, uh, basically uh, even a 6 core or an 8 core processor is ideal for people who are heavily into media production like sound editing or basically video editing. Here again you have to check with your application uh, if your application can take advantage of, of all these 8 cores. So, so this is the basic difference between a single core, dual core and a multi core processor. I hope this video makes sense. Uh, that's it for now. This is Ranjit for tech2bus.com and hopefully I'm going to see you in my next video.